The way to make government responsible is to hold it accountable. And the way to make government accountable is to make it transparent so that the American people can know exactly what decisions are being ma made, how they're being made, and whether their interests are being well served. The programs that gained the most attention is Fast and Furious, which ran from late 2009 to early this year. It's where weapons sold in the U.S. were allowed to fall into the hands of Mexican drug cartels in the hope of tracking them to their most violent members. Didn't work out that way at all. Thousands of the guns were lost, and two of those missing weapons were found at the scene when U.S. border agent Brian Terry was murdered last December. Two assault rifles ATF had let walk nearly a year before, similar to these, were found at Terry's murder. March 15, 2010. April 19, 2010. May 7, 2010. May 17, 2010. June 2, 2010. July 2, the real date of our independence, uh, 2010, obviously earlier, before Brian Terry was gunned down. These wiretap applications, which we did not subpoena, but which were given to us by a furious group of, of whistleblowers that are tired of your stonewalling, indicate that a number of key individuals in your admi administration, in fact, were responsible for information contained in here that clearly shows that the tactics of Fast and Furious were known. They were known and are contained in these wiretaps. My name is Mike Duddy. I was born in San Diego, California in 1958. 56 now. Raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for college, I came to the University of Arizona in 1979, received a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice Administration. From there, I went into the Marines for a brief time. When I got out of the Marines, I went to work for my father's sports medicine business. And from there, I became a gun dealer. And that's how I got involved in Operation Wide Receiver. Operation Wide Receiver was an investigation that I was involved with with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. And they based that investigation on information that I brought to them uh, about a suspicious uh, customer that I had. It, uh, it, it's, it's not a nice story, it's not a feel-good story, but it's, uh, it's a story that needs to be told uh, so the American people can see what their government is actually capable of doing. So it turns out ATF not only allowed the guns to walk, they videotaped it. Documents show the inevitable result. The guns ATF let go began showing up at crime scenes in Mexico. And as ATF stood by, watching thousands of weapons hit the street, the Fast and Furious Group supervisor noted the escalating Mexican violence. 958 killed in March 2010, the most violent month since 2005. Senior agents, including Dodson, told us they confronted their supervisors over and over. And what was the answer? What do they say? If you're going to make an omelet, you're going to scramble some eggs. I think the major thing I'd like to highlight in this book is, is the absolute corruption that our federal government is capable of when left unchecked. And in Operation Wide Receiver and Operation Fast and Furious, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms was absolutely unchecked and uh, maybe even helped by the Department of Justice in their effort to flood Mexico with American guns. And they did so to promote an agenda an anti-gun agenda uh, and politicize this event when uh, it should have never happened. There should have never been one load of guns that were allowed to cross the border. What I was told was that these guns would be tracked and followed and then eventually rounded up in Mexico and that certainly never happened. Um, the whole scheme was to flood Mexico with American guns. You were intentionally letting guns go to Mexico? Yes, ma'am. I mean, the agency was. I'm boots on the ground here in Phoenix and telling you we've been doing it every day since I've been here. Agent Dodson and other insiders say the gun walking strategy was approved all the way to the Justice Department. The idea was to see where the guns ended up, build a big case and take down a major cartel. And it was all kept secret from Mexico. Well, first off, the briefing, the blue and AAG Brewer brief, that was about wide receiver. That wasn't about fast and furious. By the way, do you know the differences between wide receiver and fast and furious? Senator, I have not tried to equate the two. I have not tried to equate wide receiver with, uh, with, with fast and furious. I'm that just is asking not... you, if you know if you know the differences between the two. 
That was uh, just shortly after the letter that Senator Grassley gave you was shortly after the well-publicized murder of Brian Terry, the United States law enforcement agent. Can you name me one person who's been held accountable for this uh, fast and furious operation?